Hi, it's Paul Munder from Production Expert. Waves have just released two new D Reverb plugins, Clarity VX D Reverb and Clarity VX D Reverb Pro. If you've used the Waves Clarity VX noise reduction plugin before, these will already look fairly familiar because they share a similar look and are powered by Waves neural networks to achieve the reverb reduction. Clarity VX D Reverb and D Reverb Pro are both designed to remove the reverb from both dialogue and sung vocals. They operate on the principle of a single dial which allows you to control the total amount of reverb reduction. In most cases, the basic version of the plugin should be fine, but if we need to contour the frequency range of the reverb reduction, then Clarity VXD Reverb Pro provides this graph section with six adjustable nodes. We'll take a look at this shortly, but for now, let's start with the standard version. Some of you may remember the D Reverb shootout we did a while back. The examples in this session are from that test, so let's go through them and see how effective Clarity VX D Reverb actually is. Here's the first example. This is a stereo recording made in a domestic basement. One, two, three, four, five. So let's open the plugin and see what we can do. Just on the default settings, all I'll do initially is just increase the amount of reverb reduction. This is a stereo recording made in a domestic basement. One, two, three, four, five. Already sounds pretty good. If you needed to, you could change the neural network here. There are presets for dialogue. There's a couple of different ones, and it's just a question really of experimenting and seeing which one works best. Another one as well, third dialogue setting plus noise reduction, we'll get to that a little bit later. And there's also a couple of settings here for singing, so two vocal ones plus a noise reduction one. I'm quite happy already with this, I might just increase the amount of noise reduction on it. This is a stereo recording made in a domestic basement. One, two, three, four, five. That's very impressive. Let's just do an A-B comparison now. This is a stereo recording made in a domestic basement. One, two, three, four, five. And now with the plugin. This is a stereo recording made in a domestic basement. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. Let's move on to the next example. Start with the plugin in Bypass. This recording was made with a studio condenser microphone. However, I've added a long stereo reverb, which should pose some challenges for the D reverb plugins. One, two, three, four, five. Now, before we process this, there's just a couple of points to mention about Clarity VX D reverb. The plugin works on mono or stereo tracks, and the stereo version has this analysis width control. Clicking on this, you can see that we have four options, single stereo, double mono, double stereo, and single mono. The first word before the forward slash is the analysis, and it controls how the signal is actually analyzed before neural network processing. Basically, if there's a notable difference between the left and right channels in your audio, use double, and the left and right channels will be analyzed independently. If, on the other hand, the signal that you're working with has little difference between the channels, or it's essentially dual mono, then the single option sums the left and right channels before analysis, also saving some CPU usage. The width option, indicated after the forward slash, governs whether the output is stereo or mono. For dialogue, I suspect that we'll achieve more stable results with this set to mono, but because the reverb in the signal is stereo, I'll set the analysis to double, so this double slash mono setting is probably best. Okay, here goes. This recording was made with a studio condenser microphone. However, I've added a long stereo reverb, which should pose some challenges for the D reverb plugins. One, two, three, four, five. Just out of interest, I'm going to try the second neural network, Dialog2, see if that makes any difference. Incidentally, if after reducing the reverb, you notice that there's a slight lack of high frequency content, you can restore that with the presence control. This recording was made with a studio condenser microphone. However, I've added a long stereo reverb, which should pose some challenges for the D reverb plugins. One, two, three, four, five. I think in this case, Dialog 1 was actually better. Let's try that one more time. This recording was made with a studio condenser microphone. However, I've added a long stereo reverb, which should pose some challenges for the D reverb plugins. One, two, three, four, five. That's good. Just hear a little section of it one more time without it, and then I'll unbypass it partway through. This recording was made with a studio condenser microphone. However, I've added a long stereo reverb, which should pose some challenges for the D reverb plugins. That's very good. Let's move on to the next example. This reverb has a lot of energy around two kilohertz. Hopefully we can effectively reduce this 
using the graph nodes in Clarity VX D-Reverb Pro. So I said it in the audio there, it does have a resonance around 2 kilohertz. So that's obviously a prime candidate for using D-Reverb Pro. First, I'll just increase the reverb amount. Then I'll go in and adjust the nodes around that frequency range to see if I can increase the effectiveness around the 2 kilohertz region. This reverb has a lot of energy around 2 kilohertz. Hopefully we can effectively reduce this using the graph nodes in Clarity VX D-Reverb Pro. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, it's getting there. Maybe I'll increase the amount. This reverb has a lot of energy around two kilohertz. Hopefully we can effectively reduce this. Now, one thing to mention is that if you wanna hear what you're actually taking out, in this version, you can click on the difference button and hear just what's being removed. So that's very useful. This reverb has a lot of energy around two kilohertz. Hopefully we can effectively reduce this using the graph modes in Clarity VX. And of course, it's worth trying one of the other neural networks, Dialog 2. This reverb has a lot of energy around two kilohertz. Hopefully we can effectively reduce this using the graph nodes in Clarity VX D-Reverb Pro. Not bad, and as with the standard version, we can increase the presence just to enhance some of the higher frequencies after processing. This reverb has a lot of energy around 2 kilohertz. Hopefully we can effectively reduce this using the graph nodes in Clarity VX. Now, see that peak? If we don't want that, engage the limiter. This reverb has a lot of energy around 2 kilohertz. Hopefully we can effectively reduce this using the graph nodes in Clarity VX D-Reverb Pro. Let's move on to example four. I'm currently standing in a tiled bathroom. It's a dreadful place to make a recording. However, it's very good for the purposes of this test. One, two, three, four, five. That's a really quick result and I'm already happy with it. Again, just do a quick comparison before and after. I'm currently standing in a tiled bathroom. It's a dreadful place to make a recording I'm currently standing in a tiled bathroom. It's a dreadful place to make a recording. However, it's very good for the purposes of this test. It's a good result and it was really quick and easy to achieve. Okay, final example. As you can see from the file name, this was recorded in a hallway. In this recording, I'm about one and a half feet away from the microphone. The walls and ceiling are smooth plaster and it's quite reflective. One, two, three. Okay, so that's managed to get rid of the reverb but we still have some background noise. Take a listen again. In this recording, I'm about one and a half feet away from the microphone. The walls and ceiling are smooth plaster and it's quite reflective. You can just hear the sound of a fan in the background there. So let's try dialogue three plus noise reduction. Once again, just to show the effect of this, I'll start with no noise reduction and gradually increase it. So this is gonna take out both the reverb and the broadband background noise. In this recording, I'm about one and a half feet away from the microphone. The walls and ceiling are smooth plaster, and it's quite reflective. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's just play that through. In this recording, I'm about one and a half feet away from the microphone. The walls and ceiling are smooth plaster, and it's quite reflective. Once again, it's a good result. How do you think Waves Clarity VXD Reverb stacks up against some of the competition? Is it worth another shootout? Let us know in the comments. Waves Clarity VX D Reverb standard and pro versions are available now. To find out more, visit the Production Expert blog or go to waves.com. Thanks for watching.